guys, welcome back to episode two. It's Mallory here again with Tony. So we're excited. We actually do have a name for the show, and we're gonna call it the Camping Corner. Woo! Super cute. Yeah, great idea, guys. And and that came in from from viewers. So you know, thanks everybody for watching the first episode, sharing it, sending it around. Um, you know, this is a little different. You know, definitely a different idea than what. Um, people are, are used to seeing. We do a lot of silly videos, but this is gonna be a little bit more fun. And um, so it's, a, it's great to great, gain a little traction and so on like that and hope that uh, viewership keeps getting bigger and better. And we really appreciate that everything. First segment guys, what's the buzz? All right, so one of the first things we've got is our Spring Fever Sales event, guys. This is starting January 27th through February 8th. So. Right. Definitely take advantage of that time to take advantage of some good deals. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it's camping season's just around the corner. Yes. A lot of the campgrounds open in April, so it's time to get that going. We also are gearing up for one of the greatest shows of the year, the Boat Sport and Travel Show in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And uh, stay tuned for next week's episode. We'll talk a lot more about the units that we're taking and some of the cool stuff that you can see there. Yeah. All right. So our next segment, guys, is Gadget Corner, or some weeks we're going to call this Tech Money, Tech Monkeys. So this week we're more tech monkey, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to talk about some cool stuff out there tech-wise. First and foremost, uh, a lot of you may have a unit that is already pre-wired for this, but if you're you're not familiar with it, this is the Furion Wi-Fi router for Wi-Fi access into the campground. So one of the things that you can do is, you know, you can have the capability that you can have Wi-Fi in the campground. You can stream your Roku or your smart TVs, you know, different things like that, Netflix and all that stuff and do that all and have a, a uh, hotspot for your cell phone. You can mm -hmm. do that all from your camper with the Furion uh, router. All right. So the next thing we've got is the Smart RV Surge Protector. So these are really great to help you protect from lightning strikes that could possibly happen and keep it from damaging your plug-in. So I know that's one thing that these can help with because I've had some friends that have needed it in right. the past. Absolutely. So definitely something that helps protect your investment um, and worth every penny. Yeah, absolutely. And this one, this particular unit here, it's a 30 amp unit, but it's also, you can also um, get them for 50 amp service. So no matter what type of unit you've got, you have the capability that you can have everything that you need uh, as far as surge protection, lightning protection, power uh, spikes, things like that in the campground. So yeah, come check them out in the parts store, guys. All right, guys, our next segment is industry news. And it's been kind of quiet this week, so I don't, I don't really have any industry news for you. I actually do, and I'm pretty excited about it this week. So one of the things I was kind of reading about and researching is the rise of camping. So, you know, we used to have this mindset that, oh, you do that when you're retired. Well, now it's oh, okay. definitely coming up in popularity for every generation. I know especially me getting my kids out and away from, I know we just did tech, but away right. from some tech. So actually, since 2018, 61% of people in North America are camping now. So that's huge. That's a huge number. Yes. That's, that's a, actually a surprising number. And you're right. I think one of the things, and, and I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, um, one of the things that is I think people forget about is, is you have a lot of people that are, are camping now um, trying to get unplugged, trying to shut down, you know, mm -hmm. being, you know, Wi-Fi accessible and so on like that, getting their kids out. We see a lot of young families that have children that they want to travel before the kids get into school. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, that's absolutely cool. I know. I like it. It's exciting just to see more and more people getting into it. So another thing that's becoming popular is people are working remotely a lot more these days. So being in their camper, even living out of their camper is allowing them to travel while they're working. So right. that's a huge thing for people these days too. Yeah, a lot of, you know, we're, we're starting to see a lot of millennials into the industry um, that are doing things like that, that are working re remotely from software engineers mm -hmm. that travel the country. Um, we have travel nurses mm -hmm. that rather than having, you know, they're going to be in an area for six or seven weeks at a time, mm -hmm. rather than having a hotel, they're taking their camper with them, staying in the uh, campground close to the hospital 
or facility that they're working at, or even like the old Trapper John MD show where they're actually parking in the hospital parking lot. Yeah, and even homeschooling is becoming a huge thing yeah. too. So, so people are wanting to get an RV so that they can travel, homeschool their kids, and allow their kids to see a lot of the country that they wouldn't be able to do if they're in school all year at a regular school. Yeah, absolutely. Our next segment, Around the Web. And we got, you know, we got tons of submittals this week, so super cool. Thank you guys so much for doing those kind of things. Yeah. But we got one that we picked that we really loved, and, uh, you know, Mallory has been looking at everything on it. So, <laughs> so yeah, thank you, Carly Dennis, for sharing yours. We have a 19, she has a 1994 Ford Four Winds motorhome that she renovated. Really neat, really great to see these ideas and even inspire maybe other people that want to renovate their motorhome motor or RVs. So thank you so much, Carly Dennis. Those are beautiful pictures. It's absolutely amazing what people are doing when they're renovating their coaches now to mm -hmm. make them their, their own. You know, there are so many that are mass produced and so on like that and the capability to make it exactly the way you want, your colors, your designs, your looks and things right. like that. So yes. super cool. So one other thing that I think is really cool to talk about is I think a lot of people think that they can't afford a camper, right? Like how many times do we hear that? Right. Trying to fit it into the budget. Exactly. So one thing that actually my parents have done and it's worked out really well for them is renting out their camper. And there's actually two websites you can do this off of, outdoorsy.com or rvshare.com. Um, they rent out their coach and then the money that they earn from renting it out actually becomes their money to pay right. on the camper. So that's what allows them to afford that extra item in their life. So I just think that that's really cool. That's super cool. So that's like a Airbnb with a house, but you're yes. doing it with your RV. Yeah. That's super cool. That's a great idea, guys. So, you know, lots of ways that uh, an RV will fit into your budget and your lifestyle. Uh, lots of different op opportunities and options for you to do that. So um, that's keep those ideas coming for, for us, you know. Yeah, definitely. Love to hear your guys' ideas and anything you want us to research and, or talk about. Yeah, by all means, if you have any questions or anything like that, or there's things that have been, uh, you know, working on your brain on how to do or why to do things like that, send them to us. You know, we're also pretty much prepared to try out some different things. So if you send some <laughs> ideas of, hey, how about this? You know, does this work? I've seen it on TV. I've seen it, you know, as seen on TV. I'm really not in the way of cutting a boat in half and seeing if flex seal <laughs> tape will hold it together. But if you've got some great RV hacks that you want to know if it works, I'll try them. I mean, what's worse that can happen? We do have a lake out back, so we can do some crazy stuff. So uh, let's do it. You know, send some of those ideas. Tony's a team player, guys. Woohoo! Uh, another thing that we've been kicking around the idea doing, guys, is uh, doing a segment called Ask a Tech. There's a lot of questions out there that people want to know. Uh, we have the opportunity we can run across the street, talk to our service techs. We'll actually send out our field team, our crack roving reporters, to go out and find out the questions that you want to know. That's actually us, by the way. Yeah, field team absolutely. Is us. We're pretty good. <laughs> You know, anything to get out of the studio for a little bit. We'll go track somebody down and find it out. But by all means, that could be something about keeping your unit clean or products to help keep your unit clean, black streaks off the side, the roof clean, anything like that. But we'll uh, be glad to do those kind of things and go find a service tech, whether it's a service uh, idea or whatever. Yeah, we're here for you guys. You betcha. You give us a reason to be here. So, <laughs> well, Thank you guys for joining us for episode two and all your ideas. Keep sending those in. We really love it. And I guess we'll see you next time. Yeah, guys. I'm Tony and she's Mallory. And we're having a, a great time doing this show. So send us a bunch of ideas, guys. Give us some stuff to do. We'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.